Hi everyone, this is Mariana Cuña from Glassbox Technologies, Glassbox for short. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to very quickly get up and running to manipulate characters and apply motion capture techniques with Phaseware Live Server inside of Unreal Engine 4. On the first video, what I showed was how to set up Phaseware's Live Server with our live client. So we give you an example project with our plugin. As you can see from our instructions, if this was an empty scene, maybe with some, you know, started content or something like that. It says that after setting up Phaseware server with a live client so they can stream and they're talking to each other, it says that you should add a Phaseware live component to your blueprint. And how to go about doing that? Well, it's pretty simple. We will come over here to the details panel and just say add component, type in Phaseware, and then you get the Phaseware Live. Now, once you do that, here in the configuration tab on the details panel, inside of your blueprint, this is where you would actually be able to set a different IP address or a different port if you were to stream your server in a different, have the server in one machine and have live client running in another one, for example, or if you just need to change that, this is where you would actually do it. Now in this first technique that I'm gonna show you, all the magic happens inside of the animation blueprint. So I am going to double click on it. We're inside. This animation blueprint has the capability to interface with the live server. So you'll see the morph target pairing. Each element links a particular morph target to a particular data point. When live client receives information from the server, then it will tell the blueprint to set that blend shape to that particular value. The other technique would be just to go into the blueprint because this is already inheriting information and retrieving it from the server. And I can just right click and type in phaseware and you'll see everything that is available, right? Like for example, eyes look left, eye looks right, and so on. We feel that this is probably the most flexible technique. And that's it with this little video on how to get started with Facebook Live Server and Live Client for Unreal Engine. This is Mariana for Glassbox Technologies. Thank you.